What up film family, in today's video we're going to talk about 5 reasons to shoot with the Mamiya 6 Automat. Reason number one to shoot with the Mamiya 6 Automat is its compact size. This is a collapsible design, so when you are storing it in a bag or if you have a jacket pocket it fits into, you can just fold this in and then store it away. It becomes very thin, even more so if you don't attach a light meter on top like I have here. Another point to make is that it is in similar size to a 35 millimeter SLR. So this is the Canon AE-1, here it is. And this is the same way you would store both of them in a bag. Even when the lens is out, this camera is not a lot bigger than the typical 35 millimeter SLR. Yeah, so it's really nice. I really enjoy carrying this camera around. Compared to the other medium format cameras, like a Hasselblad or even the Mamiya C330, which are TLR systems, this is a smaller, more compact design. Even weight wise, this is 1.99 pounds. I did also weigh the Canon AE1 and this weighs 1.69 pounds. And that was uh, close to two pounds in weight with the light meter attached really helps with the compactness of this. It's compact size and weight make it easy to travel with, not putting a whole lot of weight around your neck if you get a neck strap and if you put it in a bag or in your jacket pocket. Reason number two to shoot with the Mamiya 6 Automat is the medium format that it shoots. So you, it shoots 6x6 six six medium format. Medium format in general is just larger than 35 millimeter format and you get a 6x6 six six ratio. Easy point to make is larger negative, overall better image quality. What I also really like about the 6x6 six six format, I was reading it was actually a, a photographer that mainly shot with Hasselblad, just square format. It was a popular design because you were able to crop out different ratios if you do want 3 by 2 ratio that you get at 35 millimeter cameras. As a photographer back in the day publishing these photos or submitting these photos to a magazine it made their job easier to have different options whether or not they wanted to have to decide whether or not they're going to use the majority of the 6 by 6 frame by having a full spread or they could easily crop and then decide to only use half of the page and make it more portrait style. So it's just an interesting fact. You have a lot more options to create ratios that will work better for the image in case the square format doesn't work. So the publishers for magazines just had a lot more options when working with square format images, which is just something that I really like and kind of really stuck with me ever since I learned that.
What up film family? Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. This is a great moment to take and hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And now back to the video. So reason number three to shoot with the Mamiya 6 Automat is that it is fully mechanical, meaning it doesn't need a battery to operate. And it makes it really nice because all you really do is need a light meter. And there's a lot of different ways to meter. You can use a light meter on top like I have. Other people like carrying an external light meter and trusting it that with like a spot meter or you can even use your phone so you have a lot of options to use you don't really need to just depend on one meter which would be in an older style camera what's nice about that is less electrical components less things will go wrong this is more like an old style watch with it being mechanical and less things will fail but also if it does end up failing it makes it a lot easier to repair one thing that I'll highlight quickly is I was able to fix a light leak I was also able to to fix the shutter problem and the last thing I did was actually fix the rangefinder patch and if people are interested in learning that go ahead hit that like button and comment down below and I can make that video and show you guys how to fix it yourselves but yeah so I'm sure there's a lot of other things that we would be able to fix but also when you bring these cameras to a tech like the tech that I have here locally he is a lot more willing to work on something like this versus a newer style Mamiya 6 or Mamiya 645 there's just a lot more electrical components to those cameras so there's a lot more issues with them as I travel through time and space Looking for a home, can't find the right place Pray for a king, pray for a diamond ace We used to pray for cars, those cars with a shiny face Yeah, how can I make today different? Life has a purpose when you got a mission My pole line when nobody else fishing Every day I search for new definition Who am I? I'm just a college dropout the fourth reason to buy the Mamiya 6 Automat is the price. So we haven't spoke about that at all, which is I hope you are pretty much already sold on this camera. But if it's not, then the price might get you more intrigued. The price of this Mamiya 6 Automat, it ranges from 200 all the way to 350. Even a mint camera from Japan is in the 300 to $350 range. It's not a bad deal at all. I really enjoy this camera and I don't regret buying it at all. The only cheaper option that I could really think of off the top of my head is a Holga. That's just a whole different conversation because the results that you get out of a Holga is nowhere near the quality that you get out of these type of cameras and this type of lens. That's a boring plastic lens, F8. Like I said, it's a whole different conversation, but I think this is, if not the cheapest, one of the cheaper options to start getting into medium format. And just to piggyback on the Mamiya 6, the newer version conversation, that shoots six by six, this shoots six by six. One of the lenses is in the similar range as this, and that is a $2,000 camera that when that fails it's going to be a two thousand dollar hole in your pocket versus a two hundred dollar hole in your pocket if this fails which is pretty unlikely that it'll fail in a way that you won't be able to repair it that's a lot to think about price wise catch myself hanging with the wrong cats a lot of times i've been staring at the wrong map maybe somebody done gave me all the wrong facts need a long nap but fuck sleep like i'm on crack like bling bling I got to do my thing, yeah. I got to do my thing. Everything I do is for my team, yeah. And then here is the final and last reason to shoot with the Mamiya 6 Automat. It's the fifth reason. Finally, happy to be here. It is the result of this camera. And cue the photo montage. And that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel there's many more videos like this coming don't forget to hit that like button for me and as always happy shooting